let's load up the game and make sure you guys can see it if you can. So, for those who weren't there last time, uh, this is actually a series that I'm, suppo I'm supposed to be making it a series anyway. I've only done one live stream so far, which is bad on my behalf. <laughs> but this is a series uh, which we are calling the Avian Pack. So, this little pack of Vulture and his mate, Ren, is going to be a consistent thing. They're going to go on adventures together. I'm eventually going to have them raise pups, etc. And currently they are in the beginning area where they're just two mates vibing, having a good time. So this episode, I think I might have them hunt a little bit, make sure they're definitely certain about being mates, and then we're going to head on over to the next area where they will start claiming territory and raising pups. So that's the plan for today. Alright, so, uh, welcome to Wolfquest. This man you see right here, this little boy, this is Vulture, so he's me. He is quite the handsome specimen. And then over here, we have our lovely lady. This is Wren. She wag her tail. Yeah, she go she's gonna trot away because she's probably seen that fox and probably wants to hurt it. Oh! Yeah, this fox. Get out of here. I forgot how to run. That button. Right, he's gone. Okay, cool. Uh, so... What are we doing right now? We have some food, so we're probably just gonna eat up and go to sleep. Uh, cause I don't know if you guys- Well, you can see it, you're looking at my screen. In the top left corner you can see that I uh, have some, uh, like, categories, I guess. The red one is my health, very important. The green one is my stamina, which is currently low because I just slept. The amber one, uh-oh. Get out of here, fox. Sorry, I know foxes are cute, but in this game they are our enemy. So I do have to bite him, I like that. But yes, so uh, the amber or orange bar below my green one is for food. So as you can see right now, I am full. Hence, I get this notification and can't eat from the carcass. The bar below that is... Oh, that's a bear. Okay, we need to sleep now before that bear comes over here. Uh, so that purple bar that was below the amber one... Oh, sorry, we're getting a dream. I'm just going to quickly try and screenshot something. <laughs> Perfect. Cool. Yeah, I like to use the dreams as my title sequence. Like, my tit- not my title. My profile. No, I can't English today. Oh! The bear ran away. Cool. Amazing. Oh, that's because there's more bears. Oh god. Okay, we need to leave. Come on, Ren. Please let us know. Ren, please. Don't get hurt by the bear. Alright, cool. Whew. Okay, as I was saying, I like to use the dreams as the covers for my streams because I think they look very pretty. Uh, I'm surprised we jumped into a dream straight away, to be honest. That doesn't normally happen. Um, yeah, okay, we've gone through what all of the bars mean. Now I'm going to show you Scent View. Uh, so, as you can see, we can see all of the tracks of all of the different animals, like his Ren's tracks. Uh, this is a rabbit. And in the air, you can see, um, like, indicators for various different species, like, uh, mule deer and coyotes, and I believe that's a scent marker for a territory. That one. That one? I have no idea. Either way, uh, I'm gonna play about her if if I could face her. There you go. Uh, so yeah, the main objective of this game, as I said, is literally just to survive. So let's take a look at the map. We are currently on a quest to head to Slough Creek, which is where we will have our pups. But first of all, I want to make sure that we are fully prepared, so we're probably going to do a bit more hunting. Uh, now to find food, we hop into the scent mode here and we're gonna literally just look around for a, a herd. 
an elk herd specifically. Although, uh, are those? No, those are coyote. That's fine. Oh, that's a cougar. That's a. I probably shouldn't say that word. That's a puma. Uh, that is. That's an elk. That's a moose. That's a bull. Is that an elk herd? Hold on, in the very distance, I think. No, there's a moose. If you couldn't see that, like, I saw two figures stood one big, one small beside each other, and my brain was like, maybe elk herd. But no, definitely not. Look, again, that's what I saw. It was a, a mule deer and her baby, which are now running away because Ren is desperately trying to hunt them down. Ren, honey, it's not worth it. We want, we want an elk. Elk are the ultimate food source in this game. Game. They provide you with much more food. Oh! Ren, Ren, it's not worth it, honey. Okay, so, um, elk are the ultimate food source. They provide you with long-lasting meals. Oh, that was the hunting music because Ren went hunting again. Um, so really we're looking for an elk herd, which I can follow these pink markers to find it. You'll learn very quickly playing this game that uh, our dear friend Ren over here, she, uh, she loves two things in life, hunting and food. So she'll often shoot off on mini adventures of her own just to hunt random things we see. It's not good because uh, if she gets hurt, I can't always be there to help her. And I think we have mate permadeath on, so if she dies, she's dead forever. She's gone. No more Ren. Uh, those are wolves. That's fine. Oh, that's not fine. We're in their territory. Out we go. No hunting today, Ren. <laughs> Okay, so this area, ooh, okay, back out, nope, alright, back into the butte, back into the butte. Okay, so if we look at our map, you can see that there are these hexagons, they basically tell you, oh, other wolves own these areas. Uh, so, this junction butte owns all of these blue areas, and then the red areas are Wapiti, and these purple areas are Lamar Canyon. So every time we enter those areas, there'll be some wolves who will not be very happy that we went into their space. <laughs> so basically, you don't want to go there. It's the long and short of it. Instead, we are going to head up, down the mountains. Oh, and we're not going to go anywhere near those bison that just spawned in, if you can see those huge boys. They are really big and beefy and tough and we just us two wolves will not be able to take them down. Oh, I can hear the hamster moving around. He's having a good time. Good for him. But yeah, so um, we're going to head down over this mountain if we can find a safe way down. And we are going to head into this area here, the Lamar Valley. Because down there, there should be more elk herds. As it is approaching the spring season, and just like in real life, in the game, they migrate downwards uh, as the seasons get warmer. Because they head towards that huge river that you can see in the distance, the blue line. Yeah. Ah yes, let's eat the floor, that's... <laughs> Oh dear, the directional thing wasn't very good. But that's fine. Okay, I'm gonna quickly click tab to see how full. Cool. Uh, Ren is full. Um, oh, she's the same age as me as well. That's quite useful. Yeah, I didn't really read her age before, so I wasn't sure. Um, we have some stats over here, by the way, if you can see where I'm moving my mouse. We've got strength, stamina, speed, and health. So these are my individual stats as Vulture. I'm not very strong, but I make up for it because I'm very speedy and quite healthy. Which is, you know, always useful. 
But yeah, we're probably gonna leave this carcass. Because I'd like to go on an actual elk hunt. I have no idea how many people are watching right now. Uh, <laughs> unfortunately with the way I play Wolf Quest, it doesn't register as a game to Streamlabs. So I have to just display the, uh, I have to display it as a, what do I call it? Uh, I put it on the desktop screen and then I stream the screen. So I can never really quite see anything on Streamlabs because I can't access it and see the screen at the same time because otherwise you'll get that weird glitch we had earlier where it looked like there was a million different Streamlabs all converging into one. How are we in Stranger Wolf territory? Oh, we're just on the cusp of it. Okay, that's fine. Uh, currently three people. Thanks, Celeste. Um, that's cool to know that we've got three people watching. Hello to everyone watching. Yeah, this is not... I've probably got less viewers right now than I normally do because this is a day I don't normally stream. Which is fair. If you don't expect me here, then of course you're not gonna come. Um, I'm currently keeping an eye on those two wolves over there. Do not like the look of them. Why did I just take a meat chunk? I was meant to eat that. There we go. Alright. I think we're gonna sleep here with this carcass. And then tomorrow, after I save, we can try and go on a hunt. <laughs> uh, I apologize if there's weird pauses where I'm not talking. You can assume I'm having a drink because it is very hot in England right now. We're having basically a heat wave, but <gasps> snow. Uh-oh. Hey, where you think you're coming? Coming? Going. All right, cool, cool. The benefits of snow. Pretty. The downsides of snow. Can can any of you see anything? Because I sure as hell can't. God. I forget how thick it gets. Um. Okay, so we're not very far away from Slough Creek, but as I said, I'd love to do a final hunt. So let's desperately look around and try and find somewhere to hunt. What is this? Bull elk. We don't want bull elk. Elk herd. Oh, why are you snarling, love? What are you angry at? Oh, <gasps> did you just... Oh, no, you're just angry at the fox. I thought you killed him. <laughs> cool, he's he running. He gone. He, know, he knows to leave. <laughs> I'm glad you didn't kill him. Would have been very upset at you, Bren. I say, when I've been aggressively attacking every fox that we've seen so far. <laughs> oh... The snow is filling the ground. It's lovely, but also I can't see anything. <laughs> it's all just white. Okay. Okay, so... Elk herd. Elk herd. It's quite hard to tell the difference between them in the snow. But there's an elk herd that way, but unfortunately that way... Yeah, leads into the territory. Ugh. Let's just run this way and hope hope that we come across something. Hello? Anyone out there? Hello? My god. God, the snow is so hot. Okay, wait, I have an idea. Somewhere this way, there will be a river. If we run alongside the river, we should at least have a reference point for where the heck we are. Oh, wait, I know those trees. Okay, cool. I know this area. Uh, honey? Yep, cool. Yeah, I've played this game often enough that I can recognize certain areas. So we have like a- there's a grove here where there's all of this type of tree. And they're all clustered together. So that should be where we are. And then the river's over here. It's kind of 
kind of a miracle that the river doesn't freeze over. Ooh, like my game did. <laughs> Benefits of river, we could drink from it. And apparently, uh, Ren could go for a swim in it, because that's what she seemed to be doing. Okay, so if we run up over here, we will be able to see just above the edge of the river, and that should be good enough. Ooh, get out of here. Cool. That was a coyote. Oh, no. Okay. So the river plan is a bust. <laughs> yeah, the parts of the river that I wanted to track lead straight into another wolf's territory. Ooh. Mm, you know what? We could just give up and head straight to the other area. Yeah, you know what? We might do that. Because you don't- you don't have pups straight away when you get to the other area. You take a few weeks, I guess, to basically establish your own territory so that you can protect your pups and keep them safe. Um, so I guess that we could just head over there and start doing that for a bit. Because it is going to take a few- I reckon it's going to take a stream or two to get the area set up. Ooh, beaver hunting. They added beavers to this area? Hold on, I'm sorry chat. I know it was mid-sentence, but we're immediately going to start talking about beavers because this is something that I haven't experienced yet because they only just added beavers to Wolf Quest. So beaver hunting. You have found a beaver trail from April through November. Beavers use such trails to go find aspen and willow, which they use for food and as construction materials for dams and lodges. If you want to try hunting a beaver, press the control button for several seconds to begin lying in wait for a beaver to come along. It might take a while. Beavers are most active at dawn and dusk, but it's worth the wait. You'll do extra damage when you bite it immediately after lying in wait. Okay, I see. Hold on, if I go on my map. Yeah, so uh, I can zoom in. So there's like a little this ridge here. It's kind of burnt into the land, I guess. There should be. That should be burnt like that because there'll be a little beaver trail. Where the beavers have been walking along that path for a long time and that's slowly ingrain like the land with their pattern. I don't really know how else to explain that. But where on earth would a beaver put its den? Like this river is too big. Yeah, we'll we'll probably deal with Oh. <laughs> Sorry, it was really weird. It stopped snowing in one area before the other. Um but hey, now we can see at least. Yeah, I was right about this being the little area with the trees. Okay, so... Out of curiosity. Alright, here's the beaver path. Because you can see this little zigzag line. Where they walk. And then they head into this area. Okay, interesting. Okay. Cool. Uh, we're not going to hunt the beaver right now. Uh, because I kind of just, yeah, I kind of just want to head to the next area. There will be more beavers in the next area, so we can try hunting there. Yeah, we could try doing a little beaver hunt. But for now, Slough Creek, Slow Creek is over there, so let's adjust our compass ever so slightly and head that way. Okay, so Slough Creek should be right over here. Yay! The meadows of Slough Creek lie just beyond Bison Peak. There you can establish a territory and begin your family pack. Woo! Uh, cool, so we're on the way to Slough Creek. Which is similar to the destination we were just at, but we'll be arriving in winter, so it'll be snowing basically all the time. The ground will constantly be covered in snow. 
You got any questions, chat? Got anything specific you want me to cover? While my game crashes. Alright, so, 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 now that my computer is, you know, not dead. <laughs> I can finally get on with the show. So here we are in Slough Creek. And we are beginning Survival of the Pack. A wolf's life is about one thing, passing on its genes to the next generation. All else, from hunting elk to defending a territory, drives toward this one single goal. You and your mates survive the hazards of the wilderness long enough to meet each other, form a bond, and survive the winter. Now you can try to realise this goal. With pups of your own, you and your mate will become the breeding pair, sometimes called alphas, of your pack. Their survival, and the survival of your genetic code, will be your responsibility. Even with all the dangers you have faced to reach this point, your real struggle has only just begun. Is he, you know, that's not a... It's not worrying at all, that last sentence, is it? <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? Of course, Ren is immediately lying down. <laughs> okay. Establish your territory. You and your mate are expecting pups. Yay! You must now carve out your own territory here in the hills and meadows of Slow Creek. Slough Creek. I can never choose a pronunciation. Either way, later, just before the pups are born in two months, you must find a good den within your territory. Other packs are also expecting puppies, so they are establishing and expanding their territories too. You need to make sure you claim enough space to create a safe buffer to, to protect your vulnerable pups from them. Cool. How to establish territory. Explore the region and decide where to establish your territory. You might find potential den sites first, and you'll be alerted when you come near to one. Or you can start working on territory and look for dens as you go. Potential dens face south to catch as much of spring sunshine as possible. Most are in the central area of the map. Claim an area by marking it with, you know, urinating, howling, hunting, or simply being there. Check your progress on the world map with pack territories displayed. To complete this quest, your territory must have at least 15 hexes, as shown on the world map, each at least 50% in strength. The bigger your territory, the safer your pups will be from rival pack danger, but a bigger territory also takes more time to maintain and defend. Alright! Welcome everyone to Slough Creek. As Vulture majestically sniffs the wind, and Ren immediately starts climbing down the cliff and deciding she's done with everything. So, let me turn off the little chat monitor for a moment. Here we have the map of Slough Creek, which you may notice is much bigger than the Amethyst Mountain pack which we were just on. If I turn on pack territories, there is, yep, yeah, quite a few more hexes. And I can even click this button that shows me the percent of all of them, which is rather nice. Uh, I might keep that on actually. So, we probably want to take up this area in the center. Like we want to aim to take up as many spaces around here as possible. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I don't know where specifically we're gonna go. I think we'll literally- This episode, we're not going to start a den and start puppies. We're just gonna run around and claim territory. Why? I'm too- I'm too tired to start raising the pups, man. I'm gonna get depressed if one of them dies because I'm too tired to pay attention properly. <laughs> uh, so I'm very sorry, but there will not be puppies this episode. However, this is the perfect opportunity for all of you to come up with suggestions for puppy names! Yeah! You can suggest as many as you want, I will write all of them down, and when the pups are born, uh, I will go through and I'll pick my favourite names and we'll name the pups after them. We do currently have some puppy name suggestions, and I can go through them in a bit, but for now, uh, let me quickly check the pack info. 
Right, both me and Ren are hungry, so we should probably go eat as well as start claiming territory. Uh, yep, I'm only two, so I only have the physical physical attributes you selected initially, so I'm still weak little boy, but healthy and speedy. When I get older, uh, I thought I heard a wolf howling. It was just a pigeon outside. My God, <laughs> damn you, pigeon! Damn you! But anyway, as I get older, I will be able to increase my abilities, but I'll only be able to do this, I believe, when I have puppies. Yeah, has to be on my birthday. Just before your next litter of pups are born, you could advance age three and choose new perks. So I will have to wait until we have the puppies to do this. But that's fine, we can hang out with our normal stats for now. But we'll probably definitely be increasing our strength because, <laughs> yikes. Minus two? Why did I think that was a good idea? <laughs> and then we'll increase those at some point, probably. Um, but yeah, for now, let's run around, find some decent places to live. Did you fall off the cliff? You fell off the cliff, didn't you? Oh dear. Right, let's ease our way down. There we go. You coming, Ren? Come on. Come on. You can do it. She's like, nope, I don't want to do it. I don't want to. Come on. Ren, please. We don't have the time for this. Please. Come on. Oh? Is she finding a different way down? You know, she's probably finding a sensible route rather than my crazy route. Yeah, there she is. Yeah, she found the sensible route. <laughs> oh, lag. Okay, we're good. Right. So we want to head this way. Hmm. Alright, let me quickly check the territories. You know, having this meadow might be a good shout. Because it's very big and open and nice. Either that or the second meadow. Hmm. I think we want to aim for the second meadow. Because having played Wolf Quest before, this one, this crevice lake pack, they tend to be very aggressive, whilst Prospect Peak and Junction Butte, they're less aggressive. So if we head through the valley and head to the uh, second meadow, we can probably go claim some territory around there. Might just be nicer to be able to stay away from the other packs for a bit. Carcass. There we go. Yum, 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 yum. Come and eat. Perfect. I'm glad that Ren is aggressive, because it means that she just does all the work and then I do all the eating. <laughs> Is that very lazy of me? Yeah, probably. But it's what it's what Vulture would do, to be fair. Do, do, do. I haven't really spoken about it to uh, you guys here in the chat, but Mr. Vulture, aka the wolf I'm playing as, he's a bit of a loner. He prefers to like scavenge and let other people hunt and things, but he will hunt because he knows that dear Ren here loves to hunt. So he does it for her. Oh! Oh! <laughs> That's not a sight I think anyone wanted to see. Ren! Don't... No! Please never do that again. Please. Please never do that again. Look, I'm on my back. I'm begging. Please never ever do that again. <laughs> oh, she's gonna do it again. No! <laughs> oh dear. Okay, it's fine. Everything's fine. Right. We need to head off. We need to follow the river and get to the other meadow as soon as possible. Or we're gonna run out of time. <gasps> nearby den! There's a potential den site nearby. Try to find it. The den icon below the compass will grow more orange as you get closer. The closer you are, the darker the icon glows. Dens emit floating scents and are visible in scent view when you are close to it. Right. Let's look around. Den? 
Nope, we left it. It might be this way. No? This way? Seems to be sticking around. Okay, it's getting stronger. Um, I'm not necessarily looking for a den to like stay in. It's just very useful to have as many dens as possible. Okay. I need to look for something that looks like it would be a den. Okay, that icon's less orange. More orange. Okay, it's this way. Is it this? No. Less orange. More orange. Okay. So it's around here somewhere. Less orange. It's a lot. It's a lot like. War what's it called? Warmer, warmer, cold, cold. Oh, here it is. Found a potential den. It's now marked here. Well, it will be when we move. <laughs> Yeah, it'll be exactly where we're standing. Cool. So we found one den site. Helpful. Basically, later on in the game, uh, diseases and like infections and fleas, it's very much a thing. So the more den sites you have, the more chances you have to like move around. <laughs> Great. There's a there's a cougar right where I want to go. I'm just gonna move here and then run yeah I know where that den was because I've used that den before in a test build of this game like I was testing it to see how I could stream it uh, I'm gonna check over here though because I want to see if there would be a den up on these rocks but yes like I'm saying diseases are a thing in this game and uh, if you stay in the den for too long it'll eventually get infested with fleas lovely then you'll have to move out. So, with that in mind, oh, show all dens. There we go. So, with that in mind, the more dens you have, the more places you have to move. Therefore, the more protection you have from the fleas. Oh, we lost it. This way. Yeah, I'm looking for it down again, everyone. <laughs> it's really not what I should be doing. I should be heading up to Mark Territory, but oh well. Or was it there? Yeah, I think it is. Yes! Awesome. Alright, so we got three dens here. Perfect. We're gonna keep heading this way, because then we're heading towards that meadow that I want to- <gasps> Oh, but an elk- Oh, we don't have time for it. Nope, we don't have time. We're gonna be very low on sleep soon. We can't hunt the elk. Damn it. I think this is the area. Cool, it is. All right, we're gonna start establishing a territory here. So let's, I think we should mark it along the river. Yeah. So if we aim for the meadow, we should probably mark around the outskirts and then just start. Yeah. Cool, we'll do that. So let's start marking along the river. We'll start here. So you pee once. And you pee on it again. It's now a scent mark. Ta da! So we just gotta do some howling to establish it. And basically this scent post means that whenever we come here all we have to do is pee on it like once and it will increase it. Then 
And by increase it, I mean make it stronger. And the stronger it is, the more protected our little pups will be. Which, obviously, very important. So yeah, we're probably gonna... Oh cool, it tells you when you max it out. Yeah, so let's run around and try and mark all of the hexes. Like, all of the outside, at least. Want to make sure our pups are safe from enemy wolves. I'm heading the wrong way. Yeah, we want to head this way. Ignore the rabbit. <laughs> also, beaver. Cool, good to know. Sticking to the tradition of marking by the river. Let's put one here. There's a, he there's a elk herd over there. Very handy. the future pups. Yeah, that's the plan. We are going to be protecting the future pups the best we can. We're going to be the best parents. Hopefully. Though to do that, we're going to need to find dens that are actually in the area that we're marking and protecting. Which might be a bit of a challenge. So we want to head this way. Oh, look at that little bunny go. He shoot across the screen. Come on, run. You can do it. Swim, swim, swim. Yeah. Alright, so we want to head this way. Oh, that's a point. I didn't read out the names of the future pups. <coughs> so if at any point anyone in the chat wants to suggest a pup name, do it. Just... Slap a name in the chat. I'll know what you mean. Um, the current name suggestions, uh, because I would ideally love all of the names to be bird themed. Uh, so the current suggestions are Clucky, Lorini, Hen, and Buzzard, or Buzz for short. Um, so those are those are all, as I said, bird themed. Lorini is apparently a type of bird. I think it's a subspecies and then Lorini is like the short name for that species. I'm I'm not sure. But uh yeah, we're gonna we're gonna figure that one out. Uh until then, so those are four names. The maximum amount of puppies you can get is eight. So we might wanna you know, get some more name suggestions. So feel free to just throw them out there. Any name at all. Uh, ideally, like I said, bird themed ones, because we are called the avian pack after all. Uh, but anything is acceptable. Anything goes. I'll just write it down in my little notebook and we'll be good to go. Hmm, actually. No, we do need to- yeah, we need to head that way, we need to mark like that. Sorry, I'm just trying to figure out the correct outline of these meadows. Basically, we'll have prime hunting territory. That's my theory. It's my idea. We're gonna get this area because the hunting will be good. Problem is, we've not seen many dens. Which is a bit of a concern. Kind of need those. <laughs> oh, there's bison nearby. Just not sure where. That's what that music generally means. First names that came to mind are Robin and Corvid. Sorry if my typing is bad, I've been awake since 3am and can't type at the best of times. Bruh, go get some sleep, man. 
You can watch my streams another day. Your sleep is more important. <laughs> um, but equally, uh, Robin and Corvid are some very cool names. I will definitely make a note of those. Thank you so much. Oh, I can't believe I didn't think of Robin before. That's such an obvious name. Okay, uh, we're going to put this hex next to the river that's up here. So we're gonna wait for a little bit to get there. No? <laughs> what do you mean, no? Ma'am, sleep is important. Alright, let's put it right by these free trees. If you don't sleep, you get tired. And if you get tired, you get grumpy. And if you get grumpy, you're just not having a good time. And if you're not having a good time, then what's the point? <laughs> That's my thought process anyway. <coughs> oh, my throat is really dead. <laughs> but it's okay, I have been drinking. Uh, and it's not been alcohol. <laughs> so, we're all good. We are keeping consistent with drinking. Yeah, I don't really know what I meant by that. But <laughs> we're drinking, we're making sure that we're hydrated, and that is very important. Two important things, sleep and hydration. Don't ever forget that chat. If you're not sleeping well and you're not hydrated, then you're just not vibing, and that's depressing for you. Equally though, I know some people just like legit can't sleep and if you're one of those people, I send you a hug. <laughs> I hear a dog barking outside, that's rather ominous considering the game. <laughs> den nearby! Oh god. Den. 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 Den den. 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 Den den den. I'm going insane. <laughs> Den. 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 Den, 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 den. Oh, I think we're getting closer to it. <laughs> Let me talk like a normal human being for a second. Okay. Orange. Still orange. Less orange. More orange. Den now sounds like Dan. <laughs> maybe, uh, maybe I am calling for Dan. Who knows? Maybe I've just got a friend called Dan. Maybe he's here with us in spirit. God, where is this den? Oh, I'm like, I'm sniffing with my nose as if I'll actually smell the den in real life. <laughs> I obviously won't. Oh, okay, there's, there's scents coming. All right, I obviously won't. And even if I could, the only thing, oh, there it is. There we are. The only thing I'd be able to smell right now is hamster. Like, my friend's hamster is great, but all I can smell is him. Alright, I'm gonna mark this by the lake. The river, sorry. Yeah, hamsters are lovely, but my god, do they stink. I don't know if any of you in the chat have a hamster and can vouch for this. But, yeah, hamsters, man, they smell. Out of interest, where's my other scent mark? Not here? Huh, oh, interesting. Actually, it should be just over there. Because that's where a beaver dam is. I 
level this one up all the way. Head into the center and get that one. Sleep. Then tomorrow, I think we'll work on getting this hex, this hex, this hex, and this hex. And then we'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So we'll just need two more. And we'll have the full fifteen we're supposed to get. But we'll probably still have more time because I will be streaming until 10 as per usual, which means like 45 minutes for the Americans. Because <laughs> there'll probably be some Americans in the chat. Um, so if we still have more time uh, after I've done all 15 hexes, we'll just keep hecking going. We'll keep claiming more hexes, we'll make a bigger territory. Because there's nothing wrong with a bigger territory. The more territory you have, the more protected your pops are. So the bigger ter the territory, the better. Uh, me and my mate are currently exhausted. Which is fair. We have been literally running all day and night. Let's look at the stars. Oh, and the flowing trees. <laughs> Right, let's check the territories. Yeah, they've, they've started to claim in the spots that I want to claim, so we're going to have to press in and take those out. Uh, all of our hexes are completely fine. Fab. So, should we risk sleeping through one more? No, let's go get those hexes while they're at only 4% and stuff. Here, Ren, I'll play with you quickly. Come on, let's do a quick play. Yeah. Yeah, she liked that. Okay, that's fine. As long as we're keeping Ren at least somewhat happy, that's what matters in life. Keep your wife happy, happy life, and all that jazz. Although, if I remember correctly from last stream, I think we all collectively agreed that, uh, Ren and Vulture weren't really, like, partners, I guess. The closest a wolf can have to a partner being, you know, a mate. <laughs> uh, I think we decided last time that they were basically the wolf equivalent of Quiptonic. So, not like... They're, they're basically only together and having pups because they both need to do that to survive. And they're just like, well... No one else wanted either of us, so I guess we'll take each other, you know? <laughs> um, before anyone gets confused, wolves can be queer platonic. Wolves can also be polyamorous. Wolves can also be gay. This is a thing that has been documented in the wild. It's a thing. There's a den nearby. I'm gonna continue talking about gay wolves while I look for a den. <laughs> um, so there was something that was documented a little while back now, where there was a female wolf and a male wolf who were the mating pair of the pack, and while they were taking care of their pups, there was another wolf, another female, who would occasionally allow the pups to feed from her basically. Uh, I told this story on the last stream, so I apologise if anyone here has seen that stream before, but um... Yeah, there was these two wolves, they were the mating pair, and then a third female was helping to feed the pups, which is not generally something that would be done. Generally, the only people who would be feeding the pups are the mated pair. Um, so, this implies that the two females were basically trusting enough of each other to be in the equivalent of a relationship. Because uh, that female wolf who would help with the feeding was trusted enough to be able to feed the pups, even though she wasn't their mother. Which is a big thing in the wolf world. So basically, polyamorous wolves. <laughs> Therefore, if wolves can be polyamorous, I highly think that wolves could be Quipatonic and only getting into relationships and having pups just because that's just what they need to do to survive. Hence, that's what Vulture and Ren are. At least in our little headcanon of the game. Two wolves chilling in a hot tub, five feet apart, 
because they're just friends. <laughs> um. God, where the where the heck and heck is this den? I can't see it. Oh. Wait, there's a... It's floating out of here? That's a den? That's really well hidden. My god. Okay. Anyway, we're gonna go and quickly claim some territories. Uh, when you have like a strong territory, as the tutorial for this area was saying, it basically keeps away stranger wolves, it keeps away danger, it helps protect your pups more, essentially. So that's ideally what you want. You want nice strong territory hexes so that you can keep all your puppies safe. Uh, we are playing the game on challenging mode, which is the equivalent of medium, I guess, medium difficulty. So us keeping our hexes safe and well protected will be very important. Because if things go south, they will go south. See, I was tempted to be, you know, uh, I'm not going to say a coward, I'm going to say cautious. I was tempted to be cautious and to play on easy mode. I think I'm going to claim that 1% hex while it's a one at 1% one and then I'll press in and take those out. Yeah. Cool. Um, I was tempted to play cautiously and play it on easy because I didn't want to, you know, <laughs> I didn't want to experience the heartbreak of losing a puppy live on camera. But, I don't know man, I didn't want to I wanted to challenge myself. This is dead nearby. I wanted to challenge myself and so I said, okay, you know what? We're gonna do it. We're gonna put it on challenging. We're gonna try and raise a bunch of puppies on a hard mode. Maybe because I don't- maybe because I hate myself. Maybe because I genuinely wanted to see if I could do it. I don't know. I've not even raised puppies on easy mode yet. I don't know why I did this to myself. Is that a wolf? That is a wolf. Yeah, he needs to go. Right, he's leaving. That's fine. Yeah, because there's a wolf in our territory. We don't want that. We Get him out of here. That's a bunch of elk. We don't care about you right now. We're not hungry. We want a den. Get the hell out of here. Out of our way. Don't want you here. I'm being very rude to most creatures. But that's fine. I am a, a father on a mission. I have pups to make a nice, nice home for. You're getting in my way. Oh, there's two wolves over there. We're gonna get in a fight. Nice. It's best to attack first for that reason. <laughs> Hello? Oh, there's a scent. Over here. Oh! Yeah, it's another one of those holes I'll never find. Gonna mark the territory. On this boulder here. Dan? Dan? Dan, where'd you go? Oi! Dan! Oi, mate! Dan! Oi! Oi, Dan, where you at, bruv? Oi! 
Dan? Is this Dan? Are you Dan? Dan! There he is. <laughs> He's quite cool. I like this Dan. That was quite a funky Dan. But it will be pretty close to pack territory. That's fine. Uh, we'll figure something out. We're gonna sleep at this den because we are currently exhausted so yeah let's sleep here and let's save <gasps> you see what i mean that this crevice lake pack is aggressive they've immediately come and taken out our scent post that's so rude we were just trying to we were just trying to exist man you didn't have to do that Okay, we need to run up here and take that back. Where is our post actually? I don't know, but that's a den. Our post was this little rock, right? Yeah. Getting this one back. Um, those can stay at 70, that's fine. 60 is a little bit worrying, but that's fine. We're gonna be heading over here and then we can run. We can basically run circles around our territory and then. Yeah. We can run circles around our territory until everything is nice and strong. Then once we have 15 uh, hexes, we can have pups. Which, uh, at this rate, will definitely definitely not be during this stream. Yeah, we can't make a scent post until we get rid of this area, so... We'll howl and stuff, and we'll keep an eye out. If any- if basically, if the music shifts to like a really aggressive guitar, I can't think of else to describe it. We'll be being attacked by wolves. So we need to keep on alert. Alright, nearly done. Just one more howl. Now we can establish this. Cool. Woo! We seem to be okay seem to be. <sighs> Sorry, I just- I get real, real tense with the idea of fighting stranger wolves. Did that- yeah, that did increase. Cool. We're all good. We're gonna go claim that, that hex down there, and then we're immediately gonna go to bed. No more hex claiming for the day. Uh, cause we need to catch up on our sleep hours. We are behind. See? These wolves are being my good bad example of sleep. <laughs> Don't be like these wolves. Don't only sleep after you've gotten all your tasks done. If you need to sleep, your task can wait until tomorrow. Just go to bed. Your sleep is more important. You can get that job done another time, I promise. Yeah, so this would normally be a lake, but it's currently frozen. Hence we can run along it. Don't you dare go and fight the oxen. Right, we're gonna put a mark here, right beside the lake, nice and easy to find. Oh yeah, I forgot we need to Howl away to pain, am I right? <laughs> oh, I forgot. If we found their scent post, we could like knock it out and stuff. Which would be a much faster method than what we're doing. But oh well. I'm just desperately keeping an eye out for wolves. I 
friends I do are climbing up on the rocks like that. I could probably go to bed up there. A nice view at the sunset. Thanks, Ren. Hold on, this is another potential. Oh. Yeah, that's another potential. Um, what's it called? Thumbnail. Alright, let's climb up on the rock like I said I would. And we can go to sleep up here. Beautiful. You ready to go to bed? Yeah. Bedtime. <laughs> Wait, I just realized what all the noise is. I don't think it's my neighbors making noise. I think it's a little hamster. <laughs> my friend's hamster is making a racket this whole time and I didn't realize it was him. He must be hot though, he's currently having a drink. Yeah, uh, you can't see him sadly chat, but he has been staring at us. He's probably severely judging me. <laughs> probably wonders what on earth I'm doing. Yeah, he's he's having a good time though. Uh, it's quite a cute little setup he's got. He's got a little tunnel that he runs through frantically. So there's a chance that the weird rattling noise is just him going through his tunnel. Um, he might have also been spinning on his wheel actually. God, I'm gonna have to sleep with that. I'm gonna have to sleep with that noise. Oh dear. <laughs> it's fine. He's cute. I can forgive him for it. Because he's cute. I think he's sat in his tunnel right now. Yeah. Just chilling in this little tunnel. Good for him. Anyway, <laughs> back to the wolf quest. <laughs> okay, so... We're over here. Our uh, territories are pretty fine over here, but over here they are weakening, and this this territory has in fact been almost knocked out, so we need to run over there and put it back. Basically, if there's a line around the edge of the hexagon, that territory is fine. If it's faded like this, there's a problem. Uh, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, Wait, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So we have 14. So if we boost that hex back to health, heal all of these up, and then we just need one more hex, and we'll have enough to start raising a pack. My problem with that is that we don't have many dens just yet. Although I don't, I don't want to jinx it, but I don't think we'll actually need to move like this much. I think we'll be okay. Yeah, I think we might just want to take out this Junction Butte territory just so we can keep that secure for if we ever want to move here. Um, and if we ever want to move up here. Hmm. Yeah, I think I think basically I want to claim this den right here. And then we can move our way around like that if that makes sense like if we get territories and if we lose our dens we can easily migrate to these dens they're not that far apart especially these two right next to each other and these two down here yeah okay we might want to heal up these territories and then push over here maybe claim you know what, I'm gonna claim more than 15. I'm gonna try to. So we'll try and claim as many of these as we can. Uh, we've only got 20 minutes left in the stream, unless I decide to go for longer. I have done that before. Um, but we'll try and go up, we'll go up here, and we'll claim as, we'll reclaim as much of this as we can, then we'll shoot over here to the left, and we'll try and start claiming some of these territories. But god, Crevice Lake, man, is really aggressive. Like, look how much they've pushed down into Junction Butte. Kind of disgusting. Uh, we do also need to feed ourselves sometime soon. Cool. So let's start heading that way, basically. And we'll head up here into our territory. Assuming, yeah, Ren is following good. Also chat, I have no idea, I have no idea how many of you are still watching this chat, but if you are, 
thank you. <laughs> the fact that you've stuck around for this long with all of this chaos is awesome, so thank you so much for that. Okay, it might be worth heading up this way and then going round like that. Yeah, because then we can circle back around here, because those are my strongest right now. Yeah, we'll head up that way. Doo -doo. On an adventure we go! The only problem with Slough Creek is that this beginning bit is mostly, like, it's repetitive footage. It's just me running place to place and claiming stuff and howling and claiming stuff and howling and finding dens and howling. Let's get that rabbit while we're here. But I'm not gonna eat it. I'm gonna feed it to Rin. All yours, my love. Your hunger and happiness is prioritized above my own. <laughs> Even though technically, you know, not good relationship advice, you should equally prioritize your health and happiness with your partners. <laughs> um, but you know, this is a video game and she, uh, Ren is programmed to take care of herself, but she's not very good at doing it. <laughs> so I'm probably gonna be doing it for her quite a bit. But hey, now that there's a little rabbit here, I can eat this one. No, Ren, my rabbit. I know, I know that your favorite thing in the world is food, and it's the only reason you love me because I feed you on occasion. But. I have things to do, Ren. There's a carcass over here, actually. Quite handy. Alright, this rock is the... Mark point. Yeah, see? That immediately brought it up to 100%. Yeah, cool. So we'll head over to that one. Mark that up. See why it's easier to like position the territory marking things like in certain places? Because if I'd put if I'd put this territory marker rather than here, like all the way up here in this top corner, I'd be so close to the blues. And it'd be really like further to run to what I can just ever so slightly edge into the territory and then claim it and boom a lot of these get to deal with cool all right so now we just gotta head down get that one go around the circle slowly mark our way through head over here yep cool the plans going smoothly everyone I have a scent post this way, apparently. Ah yeah, I marked it on the river. This is another good tip, marking it on waypoints. Because I know most of my scents are on the river, so all I have to do is run along this river, and then up and around the trees, and I know where most of my stuff is. Here. Perfect, immediately back to 100. So let's head into the other territory. Get some food for my lovely lady. Come on, run. There you go. No, 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 come on. You can eat it. It's yours. All yours. There you go. She's probably a bit depressed that we're living off of carcasses, but. You know, it's just got to be this way right now. No, we're in the wrong territory. Okay, we want to head this way. Yep. All marked up. Next is this one down here. Then we're going to rock up to that one there. And then we'll be done for the night. And slowly we'll make our way... 
toward uh, English? Hello? Where'd you go, English? Hello? Has anyone seen my English? I'd like to know where he is. Slowly we'll make our way down towards the other territories. Yes, we'll make our way towards the other wolves and the other territories. There we go, chat. <laughs> my brain is gone. It has flown away from me. It has escaped. Does anyone else's brains ever do that? Just vacate the promises. Disappear, fade out of existence. I hope there's at least one person in the chat that can relate to this. Right, let's head up here. Den nearby. Den. Den? Oh, sorry, we're calling them Dan, aren't we? Dan? Dan? Oi! Dan! Bruv! Where you at? Dan, where you at? Dan! <gasps> he was right on my face. Yes, especially when you're saying something important. Of course. No, uh, yeah, whenever we're saying important things, that's immediately when our brains die. They give up on us the moment we need them the most. That's just how life works sometimes. <laughs> Depressing, but true. The Coffee Venture Channel. Depressing, but true. <laughs> I think, I think that'll be my motto. That'll be the thing I want to be remembered for. There it is. Did I just run through the other territory? Oh. <laughs> there we go. While we're here, we honestly might as well mark the other one. No, it's a 97, we don't need to do that. Okay. Everything's really strong, except that one down there. Okay, I can f confirm the weird noise I thought was my neighbors is indeed the hamster. So I'm gonna have to sleep with that weird little, <laughs> weird little bloke running in his little ball. <laughs> He's living his life. I think he's grabbing a great time, and you know what? That's what matters. At the end of the day, as long as that hamster is having a good life, like, I can't be complaining. <laughs> it's just such a funny little noise. Okay, I think what we'll do is we'll run and we'll sit here in this 89 territory, and we'll sleep there. That'll have to be we end the stream, unfortunately, chat when we get to this 89 territory uh, but then the next day we'll work on getting these four hexes here we'll knock those out and then this will be our big ass territory that's the plan this is the little goal we have <laughs> I'm sorry that hamster is still running on the wheel and it's really distracting <laughs> He's living his life, I can't complain. He's having a great time. The only thing I know about hamsters are that they are nocturnal. Good luck with that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> they are indeed nocturnal. Where are you off to? Okay, I have no idea where Ren is swimming to, but she's she's on a journey. But yeah, uh, hamsters are indeed nocturnal. And he's a dwarf hamster. I don't know, like, that means anything in particular to anyone but I kind of just fine you can have it you did something cute <laughs> yeah I don't know if that means anything to anyone in particular but uh, he is a dwarf hamster and I, I I think they are definitely one of like they're more nocturnal even I don't even like cause some hamsters are not strictly nocturnal they're like diurnal 
where it means that they're dusk and dawn. But uh, I think dwarf hamsters are just straight 100% nocturnal. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to sleep with a little boy running in his little <laughs> in this little thingy all night. Um, I, I I hope you guys in the chat can pick up on it so that you don't think I'm just going insane. But um, I yeah I I don't know how else I can get you to hear it because I can't unfortunately move my mic closer because my headset does not stretch that far. But it's a sound, it's certainly a sound. I'm surprised he hasn't like destroyed the wheel at this point with the pace he's running. Also, I find it really funny, the, the girl who gave it to me, she was like, oh, he hardly ever uses his little hamster wheel. He's like never in it. It's fine, don't worry, you won't really have to deal with it. And here he is. He's on his journey in his little wheel. <laughs> He's running in a circle. <laughs> Forever and ever. <laughs> like, good for him, but also... Mr. Pierre, I would like to sleep. <laughs> yeah, his name is Pierre. I wasn't gonna say it, but you know what? It's such a cute little heckin' name, I feel like it needs to be stated. His name is Pierre, and he is great. Right, okay, so we're going to sleep chat, we're going to save, and when we wake up, well actually no, we'll, wake, we'll save in the morning, but when we wake up we'll see how drastically all of the map, like the map has changed, and uh, we'll figure it out from there. Ooh, free, to, oh, it loaded in faster than I thought, that's fine. And 80, 79, 75, 70, 100, 82, 80, 89, 89. Ooh! Cool, all the ball territories are still up and secure. Um, yeah, so I think that next stream, next Wolf Quest stream at least, we'll be pushing in, we'll be taking over those four territories here. So that means we'll have a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, more than 18, 18 territory, big territory. You're supposed to only have 15 hexes to start with the pups, but I'm gonna go bigger. I'm gonna go for 18, and I have a reason why. If we have all those 18, and then we pick dens and more central, then it doesn't matter if we lose these territories over here because we'll have all of the territories in the middle to back us up so it's okay if we lose a few territories as long as we have at least 15 the rival wolves will tend to stay away and as long as we have like at least I'd say three or four around a den they'll stay back too um so if we just come in and like have more the territories than we need we should be well protected we should be able to keep our pups safe so that's the plan that's why we're shooting for more than 15. it's all in the aim of keeping the pups safe and purposely allowing some of the territories to be taken and to fade so that we don't have to bother with territory marking as like intensely as someone who only has 15 hexes and needs to keep all of them. No, we'll only have to do a few territory marks and then take care of pups and a few territory marks, take care of pups and then a couple of other territories will just fade away and we won't care. That is the intention, that is the goal. Oh, she ran. Oh, that was unnatural run. That was very unnatural. <laughs> Excuse me? Hold on, I'm gonna get your attention. Woof woof woof. Look at me. I'm doing this little belly roll for you. You gonna show me love one more time for the camera? Yay! 
Yay! She even gave me a little book. Very nice. Okay, let's uh, save the game here. Cool. Okay, thank you very much for watching the stream, everybody. I would once again like a, to give a shout out to Lola7078 for the follow today. Thank you so much for that. Uh, if you didn't know, I have a YouTube. My YouTube is the same name as my Twitch name, which is Coffeevenger. And I am easy to find because my profile picture is also a drawn picture of my little hyena mascot called Mocha. He is a hyena and he wears a coffee mug on his, like, left ear? No, his right ear, sorry. Yeah, he wears a coffee mug on his right ear and uh, so you'll be able to recognise him easily. Um, yeah, so if you want to get basically an archive of all of these streams, as well as some shorts of some funny moments from the streams, I'd go check out my YouTube. Um, but generally I will have the same videos that I have on my Twitch up on my YouTube. Uh, it's just that some of my YouTube ones, like my YouTube shorts, I'm trying to keep that whole series subtitled. Or I'm trying my best anyway. So if you wanted to show a friend my channel and they prefer videos with subtitles, I'd recommend showing them my YouTube because all of my shorts I'm trying to keep subtitled. Um, apart from that, my YouTube and Twitch content will be basically the same. Uh, so it's just a matter of preference of whether you'd rather watch my YouTube videos or my Twitch videos. There's only one Twitch video I currently have uploaded that I don't have on my YouTube and that's because it was an attempt at a Minecraft war stream and it, it failed. It was terrible. The audio went wrong, the game crashed several times, uh, our script was perfect and our acting was really good if I do say so myself but Unfortunately, there were so many technical difficulties that we're basically going to re-record that whole law session and I'm going to upload it just as a YouTube video. Um, so that's why there'll be one video on Twitch that isn't on YouTube. It's just because I, I'm i so depressed by that stream, I'm just going to pretend it doesn't exist. <laughs> um, and I apologise for that. Um, but I know there were some people here assuming the same people who've been talking in the chat are still watching. I, I have no idea how many people are watching, uh, but if you are, I know there are some people in the chat who were there for that law stream, and thank you for checking it out. I apologise for the shit quality. <laughs> um, we will be recording and doing a better version sometime soon. Don't you worry. Until then, uh, thank you very much for checking out the Wolf Quest stream today. I hope you all enjoyed this little update to Vulture and Ren's journey into Slough Creek. And hopefully next time we see you all, there will be some puppies. Woo! Uh, but anyway, until then, thank you all very much for watching Coffee Beans. I hope you all have a wonderful day, night, evening, morning, sunset, whatever is going on in your life. And goodbye! <laughs>